Well, obviously, it's, a, it's all about people. Uh, you know, you can you can do a great job in Formula One on a very, very small shoestring budget, by which I mean the bare minimum that you need in order just to go racing and to mm. have a certain number of people around the car and in the design office and the engineering and the machine shop. But um, it is about people. You can have all the money in the world, the wrong people, and you can fail completely, as BAR proved. Um, and you can have a very small, tight shop, as Force India proved, and still do a great job in recent times. Uh, and I think Williams do have money. It appears they have money to spend, which is good. But I think they also seem to be employing good people, getting good people. I mean, Joss Capito seems to be a really good guy. Um, and my feeling is that they will become closer and closer to the Mercedes factory team. I think the new owners see that the future of Williams is going to be closely allied to Mercedes. And obviously, if Toto Wolff thinks this is a guy that should be at Williams, maybe he was instrumental in the Jos Capito appointment, I don't know. But if, if Toto thinks this is a good thing for Williams to do, then I'm sure Williams will just jump to it and do it. And their, their key, obviously, is to have is having George Russell. Uh, and when they when George is elevated to the factory team, then they'll, you know, they, they would like to be the next Mercedes young driver team, I would guess, you know, then the next one, I don't know who it'll be, maybe, maybe uh, Frederick Vesti uh, will be, you know, that'll be his way into Formula One. So I think that's where Williams are going. And I think that's a pretty good thing. You know, I always felt it was a shame that Frank didn't sell to BMW when BMW were offering him a lot of money to buy the team 100% when they were racing with BMW engines. And I, I felt that was the right time to Frank to, for Frank to have sold, but he was still of the you know, he still felt it's my team. I don't want to do it. I want to be the guy. And I remember he was quite derisory of Peter Sauber when Sauber sold out to BMW. And I remember him using the phrase, you know, and Peter wanted to do something. And he said something like, well, Peter, you had no compunction about cashing in when it suited you. Don't come to us now for this or that. And I remember thinking, wow, that's, you know, I hadn't heard Frank speak like that for quite a while. And, I, and that, that just summed up Frank's approach to wanting to keep his private ownership of the team um, but now, of course, things have changed. Health, ill health has stepped in and there have been several years of mismanagement of Williams anyway. So it was time to sell. And I think they're doing, they yeah, seem to be doing a pretty good clinical job. Listen to more insights on the Mission Makers podcast through Apple, Spotify and YouTube.